Hey, in the next 20 minutes, I will go over 50 tips that will change how you use OBS Studio. If you want to give your webcam a special shape, you can look for a black shape online as a PNG. Then right click your webcam, go to filters, add a new filter on the bottom left, then choose image mask blend, click on OK, change the type to alpha channel, click on browse, and then choose the black image you just downloaded. Right now, your webcam will take the look of the black PNG. If you often forget to switch your scene when you go in game, for example, you can go to tools here, then to automatic scene switcher, then here you can select any program or game. I'm gonna take the calculator as an example. And then on the right, you can select the specific scene that you wanna switch to when you launch this program here on the left. So once you prepared it on top, click on the plus icon, you will add it as a rule here. And then you can start the automatic scene switcher, click close. And now every time I launch my calculator, as you see, I will switch to this scene here. If you go to view and then stats, you can see your stream's performance. Skipping frames means your current settings are too high for your PC. And dropping frames means your internet isn't fast enough for the bitrate you chose. You can see the bitrate you are actually pulling on the right. If your webcam makes you look away from the stream, you can right click it, go to transform and then flip horizontal. If you want to feel like a professional, you can go to view, then to multi view. And this way you will get a switcher interface that they use for professional broadcasts. On the bottom, you can just click on a scene and you will transition to it. If you find the stream settings pretty complicated, OBS can do it for you and it's actually pretty good. You can say optimize for streaming, next, 1080p, 60 FPS, next. You log in with your stream account, click on next and now OBS will test your PC and your internet speed and then it will determine the perfect settings. As I said, this is pretty good. These settings are exactly what I would have chosen. Instead of recording an MP4, you should record an MKV. This way, when OBS crashes after recording for a whole hour, you don't lose your file. The only thing you need to do after recording is going to File, Remix Recording, then adding the file here on the left, for example, this.mkv, click on Remix and then it will make an MP4 file out of it. There are three ways to capture your game. There's Game Capture, Window Capture, and then display capture. Game capture is the most efficient for your PC, so try that one first. If it doesn't work, try window capture, and if that doesn't work, try display capture. Now the next tip is that there's an awesome tool called Owned Pro, and this is the sponsor of this video that gives you free overlay packs. As you can see, I just click on the pack, and it immediately installs here in OBS Studio. There's a bunch of scenes here on the left. I'm simply transitioning between them. Let's click on the next one. All these packs look really good, and as I already said, the five packs on the top are completely free. If I say I want to test this pack here, it looks great. You just click on it and it also installs in OBS and then we can just test out this pack. Another thing this plugin does is in the sources, you now have a button for alerts, chat and labels. You can just click on chat, for example, click on OK. And then this way you will simply add your streams chat to the screen. Same thing for the alerts. You can just add them with one, two, three clicks. And then this is simply your alerts. So all these packs on the top are completely for free. And then under that, you have a bunch of premium packs. There are over 400 of these packs and you can access all of them with a single pretty cheap subscription. So on the top, you see upgrade. You can go there and click on upgrade now. And then on the right, you can add my code TVN, which will slice 50% of your price. If you want epidemic sound, you can add it to the subscription for a few dollars a month. And so with the standard plan, you can get three months, enter my code TVN. And that means it will be only five $5 a month for all those graphics that we checked out before. So I'd say just install this plugin, check out the graphics, and then if you want access to all of them, you can subscribe. Thanks to Own for sponsoring this video. I will add the link on the screen and in the description. If you hate that your sources are snapping to the side or to other sources, you can hold control on your keyboard and then you will disable snapping temporarily. For some people, simply running OBS as administrator will fix all of their performance issues. If you look on Google for virtual cable and then you install this program here, you can right click your audio icon, go to open sound settings, scroll a bit down, go to device preferences. Then you can send any program, for example, Spotify to speakers, audio, virtual cable. That's the program we just downloaded. Then in your OBS audio settings, you can add the second desktop device, choose speakers, virtual cable, then just click on OK. And now you will have a separate slider for your music. And this was necessary for the next tip. If you want to make sure that when your mic gets triggered, like right now, that then your music volume goes down, you can click the cog icon next to your Spotify source go to filters then click on the plus icon choose compressor click on ok now change the ratio to something like three move the threshold to the left you can adjust this later and then most importantly change the ducking source to your microphone so now anytime this audio source here so your mic gets triggered this slider here will push your music volume down the more to the left the more quiet the music will get so let's close this to test as you will see now the spotify source goes down when i talk and when i stop talking 
you see it immediately goes up and now down again because I'm talking. If you go to your output tab and you make sure that you're in the advanced mode, you will see replay buffer here. Now if you enable this and then you make this 60 seconds, then when you click on OK, you will see a new thing appearing on the right and it's start replay buffer. So now even when you're not streaming or not recording, OBS will always save the last 60 seconds of your current scene that you're in. So then if you're gaming and something great happens, you can save the last 60 seconds by coming to OBS and then clicking on the save button here. Or you can set up a hotkey for it in the settings, hotkeys. You can search on the top for replay and then you can set a hotkey for save replay and click on OK. So now every time you press that hotkey, OBS will save the last 60 seconds in your recording path that you chose in your recording settings. So I'm in the videos here. If I click this hotkey, you will see a replay appearing in a few seconds. If I click it again, I will simply save a new replay. If you want to change the aspect ratio of your webcam, you can hold alt on your keyboard and then just cut off a side like this. You could then simply scale it down and put it over here, for example. Then if you want to add a webcam border to your webcam, but it doesn't fit like this one here, you can simply position one corner, then hold shift and drag the other corner and then you can just make it fit like this. If you have a powerful PC and you want the recording of your stream afterwards to edit for YouTube, etc. You can use one instance for streaming, for example this one, and then just open another one for recording. As you see I'm using the top one for the tutorial now and then this one is recording everything. You could stream with this one and then record everything here. The quality of your recording will be much higher than downloading your stream afterwards from the servers of Twitch, YouTube, etc. If you only have one monitor and you want to add your chat on top of your game so you can see the chat while you're gaming, you can search with Google for restream chat on top of game. There is an article on their website that will explain you step by step how to do it and as a result you will see your chat on top of your game. If you want to make your webcam slide into the frame like this it's really easy you just right click it then you go to show transition and then you change it to slide then you choose your direction here you click on ok and you can do the same thing for when you're hiding it just take slide and then to the other way click on ok and then before testing it you can also set a hotkey so go to hotkeys to the name of the scene video capture device show it set a hotkey hide it set a hotkey click on ok and then now I can hide this webcam and then show it with a hotkey and this looks very clean. You can select the source and hold control to select multiple ones then right click go to group selected items and then this way you will have one group that you can close here and this way you can reposition multiple sources at once. If you have video and microphone audio here and it's not in sync you can go to the advanced audio properties and then for any source on the left for example your mic you can add a delay to it for example like this and this way you can sync all your sources. Now something not many people know if you go to docs on the top and then you say custom browser doc you can add any web page here for example your youtube chat and you can do this for any web page but for example i undocked my youtube chat here then i just copied the url on the top and then let's make a new one call it youtube then paste the url right here click on apply and this way it will give me a separate doc that i can just position somewhere in obs and it just docks in like this again you could just do this for anything for example twitter here this will just give me a twitter doc so this is really useful if you want to hide them go to docs here and then you can enable or disable your custom docs here on the bottom. If you are still in the process of setting up your stream, you might want to check out my complete OBS Studio course on Skillshare. I made a whole step-by-step -step course for OBS Studio plus stream elements that goes over the settings, the graphics, the alerts, a chatbot, labels. You can watch this course completely for free. There's a link in my description that will give you a free month. You can cancel before they charge you and you can just use this whole course to set up your stream. If you want a custom stinger transition, for example, something like this, you can search Google for visuals by impulse go to the website then go to store then on the left you can click on free and then here you will find 10 free track mat transitions you can just select free here and then add to cart now inside the folder you download you will have transitions and then for example transition one mute it is without sound and then this here is an example let's play it so the way to install this is you go to scene transitions here then you say add stinger you click on okay then you add a video file here so you choose one of the transitions then you select use a track mat and then here you see the layout was this so side by side the stinger is on the left that's the colors and then the track mat is on the right so that's what we downloaded and then you can click on preview transition so now you see transitioning and you see a going to b then you just click on ok and now when you transition you will see that it's a very smooth one and at a certain point both scenes are on the screen so you can test any of these 10 transitions here now most people know that a browser source is being used to add alerts to your stream you just replace this url with the one from streamlabs or stream elements but you can add literally any website to this you can add google.com here click on ok and then it will just go to google you should pay attention to the fact that if you disable a source here in your sources that the audio source on the right for example here the microphone of my webcam will also be disabled so if you use the mic in your webcam to talk to your stream and you disable your 
your webcam, they will also not hear you. You can download a plugin for OBS called Move Transition. And this plugin makes it so when you switch your scene and your webcam moves from full screen, for example, to right here on the corner, instead of cutting from here to here, it will smoothly reposition and scale your webcam. You can view this video as an example. So look at his webcam. He's going to transition it to the left. You're going to see it moving smoothly. And now to the top, you can download the plugin on this page. There's a tutorial here, or you can watch the video of this YouTuber. If you want to remove background noise from your PC or a specific hiss from your mic, you can look for your mic in the sources, click on the settings icon, then go to filters, add a new filter, choose noise suppression, click on OK. And then I am using RNN noise at this moment. It's pretty good. You can also install and Nvidia noise removal. You can look it up online. You can use it if you have an Nvidia graphics card. The Nvidia one removes everything in the background. Even if you clap while talking, you won't hear your clapping. However, for almost everyone, this one is great. If you want to record your game or your stream and you want separate audio sources in your editing program, you should go to your audio mixer, then go to the advanced audio properties. And then on the right, you will see where you're sending each track. So I uncheck all of them. Right now, my audio is going nowhere. And then now you can send each source on the left to a different track. So to one, two, three, four. Four. So this means that, for example, my microphone is going to track three. So then you close this, you go to the settings, to the output, to your recording settings. And then here you see audio tracks. These are the tracks that you're adding to your recording. So you select all four of them. And now you record track one, two, four. And these are the tracks we added in the advanced audio settings, track one, two, three, four. So I'm going to make a quick recording. Let's record for a second and then just stop. And then now when I drag this end result to my editing program, you see that we have four separate sources. And if you remember, track three was a microphone, so you could cut out something from your mic but then your game and your music etc will still exist if you want to add text to obs you need to make sure that you pay attention to the text size so let's say by default the size is 16 i type my name the video nerd then i replace it like this then you cannot make it bigger by just dragging it out because the text size will never change so instead what you need to do is you need to double click the text you already saw me doing it you go to select font and then change the size right here for example 200 you click on ok click on ok and then the size will definitely be high quality if you want to create horizontally scrolling text like this here, you simply add a new text source, you type some text here, and then you should change the size of the text. So for example, size 72, let's click on OK, click on OK again, and now to make it scroll, you want to right click it and go to filters, add a new filter, choose scroll, click on OK, and now you can add horizontal or vertical speed. So let's add some horizontal speed, click on close, and then now it will be scrolling like this. Now if you want to make it scroll across the screen like this one, instead of scaling it like this, which will change the size, you just double click click the text in the sources. Let's move it aside. And then you just keep pressing the spacebar behind the text and you keep doing that until it fills the entire screen, something like this. You click on OK and then now you can reposition it and it will scroll across the screen. Now, something that happens a lot, if your stream can only hear you in the left ear or the right ear, you simply go to your advanced audio properties and then next to the microphone, you just select mono. Doing this will make sure that the left and the right ear are exactly the same. Now, another tip that should be obvious, but I just want to mention it. If you have an Nvidia card that has an Vyang chip, you should always use it in the settings. Then, if you want to stream in a different resolution than your monitor's resolution, instead of scaling it down like this and then using lenses or by cubic because they are good at scaling, it is much more efficient to select a lower resolution as both of these and then just using bilinear because you're not scaling. You can make these sources in the audio mixer vertical, just right click and select vertical layout. If you go to studio mode on the right, then on the left side you can change your scene layout or you can click through multiple of them and then only when you click on transition you will actually transition transition to that scene on the stream itself. So the left side is just to preview and then the right side is what the stream will see. You can easily remove a green screen from your webcam, just right click it, go to filters, then add a new filter, choose color key, click on OK, click the drop down, custom color, click select color, pick screen color, and then click on the green. Now click on OK. As you see, it already removed some of it. Many people use the color key in the wrong way and then they end up removing clothes or removing some parts of their arms, etc. So if something like this happens to you, instead of adding so much of the effect that clothes start to disappear, you should find the sweet spot where you remove a lot of green without removing anything else. Then at this point, you remove the darker parts at the left and the right. You simply add a second color key. You can also add a third and a fourth. You select the color, pick screen color, and then now you select the darker part, for example. You click on OK, and then you can just do the same thing. Use these sliders to remove the darker part. And you can keep doing something like this, adding more filters until it looks 
perfect. And then by holding Alt and dragging the side, you can just remove it like this, reposition it, and boom, a perfect green screen. If you add your microphone right here in the audio setting, so for example, right here, mic in, then the microphone will be active in all the sources on the left. However, you can also add your mic in a specific source, and then for example, not add it in the starting soon screen, because there you don't need your mic. So for example, in this scene here, I can add the source, audio input capture, click on OK, select the device, and then mic in, click on OK, and then on the right, you will see audio input capture, and then when I switch to scene 3, for example, the audio input capture will disappear, and so that means that if I would remove my microphone here in the audio settings, that my mic would only be active in scene 2. If you have a pretty slow PC, you should know that animated graphics are taking a lot of your PC's power. So in that case, you're much better off with a static overlay like this webcam border, for example. If I simply launch a normal version of OBS, not as administrator, then I can simply drag overlay files over there without any trouble. If you have a source in OBS and you want to make it full screen, for example, your game, you can simply press Ctrl F. Now, if the source doesn't fit, like in this example, the webcam, then you can also press Ctrl S on your keyboard and that will simply stretch it out. You can also just right click, go to transform and then choose everything here. If you want this free overlay pack, you can go to my Discord. The link is in the description. Then on the left, you will see free stuff. Then you will see Neon Overlay Pack. And on the bottom, there is a download link. I change this link when there's an update. You just click on it. And then on the top right, there's a download button. You can simply click on Start Virtual Camera on the right. And then for example, on Discord as your webcam, you can choose OBS Virtual Camera and then it will just be your current OBS scene. Now it's mirrored in the preview here, but people see what you see in OBS here. Now something very simple that not many people know is that you can drag the side of something over to the other side and then it will flip it. You can also quickly mirror something by dragging a corner and then dragging it to the other side as you see like this. Now this is not like the other tips but your microphone sound is extremely important when streaming. If you go to the audio mixer to your mic and then you go to the filters then you can add a bunch of filters here and these are really important for your microphone's quality. Now I can't go over all those filters but I will add a link in the description to a video where I explain everything and it's really really important. Now as a separate tip if you don't want to do all these filters, the least you should do is add a limiter and then just setting that to minus 1 dB. The only thing this will do is when you scream into your mic, your audio won't peak into oblivion. It definitely won't sound good, it will be distorting like Tyler 1's mic for example. If you want to make your mic stay at the same volume all the time without distorting etc, you will have to watch the video. If you're not happy with the look of your webcam, you can right click it, you can go to the filters, you can click on the plus icon and then add a color correction filter and then you can play around with these sliders, for example removing or adding color. Contrast. If it's washed out, you can add saturation. If it's too much, you can reduce the saturation. You can do a bunch of stuff with this filter. If you have a really slow PC and after trying everything, you still can't run the stream, then something else you could try is right clicking the preview and disabling enable preview. This definitely won't help a lot, but it will make a really, really small difference. If you want to see me buying gear on Amazon and then installing it as a streaming setup, you can watch that playlist. And if the YouTube algorithm knows you, then that video will be really interesting for you. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more content. Check out my OBS Skillshare course, it's in the description and I'll see you in the next video. Have a nice day.